Just a quick video, guys, to show you that the new Ozone 11 Advanced, it's like cheating. <laughs> Let me show you. Hello everyone, welcome back to Miss TV. Hope you guys are having a great day. Before we start, please check the info box down below for free plugins, special discounts, and link to Ozone 11. And if you haven't already, please check out the new website, mixpestv.com. In there, you will find all the new mix and mastering courses, start to finish on many different genres, including the two latest releases, Mixing Hip Hop and EDM 2023, soon to be released, Mixing Rock. In there, you can also book private lessons, mix consultations, mix and mastering, and whatnot. And if you wanna up your mix and mastering skills, click the join button down here, become a Mixbus TV member, access the exclusive videos, and also get mix consultation. And if you like the content, please consider using the super thanks and support the channel. Let me show you. Some time ago, Ozone 11 came out, and if you follow me, if you have any of my mixing courses, you know how much of a fan I am of the single module and the plugins Isotope make. And the new version has a ton of new features, totally worth the upgrade. But in this video, I wanna show you one new function that really is like cheating. For this, I'm gonna use a snip of a mix that was sent to me for consultation for one of the members. And unfortunately, it's a very common scenario nowadays, vocals on our already mangled beat to mix. No single tracks, nothing, just a vocal to put on a beat. We talked about many times how this is not the way to go, but sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do if that's what the client wants. Long story short, in this mix you will hear, I'll play a snip, the vocals is a little synced into the mix. You know what it is, right? so high. I think we need to cool it down. You know what it is, right? Okay, little muffled, too synced in, especially for the genre. Before this new function on Ozone 11, you could have done a bunch of things. You would have required a lot of time with still questionable results. Of course, this is never gonna sound like a top record, but with this one, with three simple moves, you can definitely make this better. And this video is just to show you the power of the new Ozone 11, so you will see how many possibilities these new options open up. As you can see, I opened the main module, so Ozone 11, not individual module, on this track. And my first module is the equalizer, regular equalizer. But if you take a look at the top, this new function allows you to process individual elements inside the mix. This first one is full mix. The second one, if you click it, it's vocals. So my EQ moves will be applied only on the vocals and so all the other modules. You can do also drum and bass. This is taken from the algorithm of one of the modules that was present in the previous version, the master rebalance, which is a lifesaver in mastering on some mixes. So this is just to show you, if I click vocals here, I can at the same time with just one EQ move, open up the vocals, boost the level, make it more upfront. You know what it is, right? I wanna so high. I think we need to cool it down. You know what it is, right? I wanna so high. All right, this alone is a game changer. But by doing this, you hear that now the low mid range on the vocal is a little too dense. So the next module I put is a dynamic EQ centered at around 230 here, which is taking care of that range dynamically. You know what it is, right? I wanna so high. I think we need to cool it down. You know what it is, right? I wanna so high. Without? You know what it is, right? I wanna so high. I think we need to cool it down. That's pretty impressive, as is. Took me two minutes. And the third model, I put dynamics. In this case, just for the video, I use the wide band. You can do this in multiband. Just because you can hear, we lose the low level information. The vocals is not uh, steady and dynamically controlled as it should. So this one also helps that. Without? You know what it is, right? I wanna so high. I think we need to cool it down. You know what it is, right? I wanna so high. I think we need to cool it down. And last module, this is optional. I added a little bit of saturation at the top, and this is optional, so is the amount and the mix, but I use the triad algorithm, and as you can see, I'm only affecting the top end. I just wanna add a little bit of shine if possible. And again, all of these four modules are only affecting the vocals. You know what it is, right? I wanna so high. I think we need to cool it down. You know what it is, right? I wanna so high. 
without again all of four. You know what it is, right? I want it so high. I think we need to cool it down. You know what it is, right? I want it so high. I think we need to cool it down. You the like this is pretty impressive. It, it really feels like cheating. And of course, uh, like I said at the beginning, you can work on the full mix, on vocals only, drums only, on bass only. So Ozone 11 with this function really is the best recovery tool that is available nowadays. Think about if you have a good mix and you don't really need to fix much, this opens up so many options to enhance a mix and at the same time maintain the balance and what's good in the mix that is pretty crazy. These are the things the plugins are unbeatable at. So I wanted to share this with you guys. And this is the video. I hope you liked it. If you did, consider using the Super Tank. Support the channel. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Also, if you have questions, if you haven't already, go check out the new website, mixbustv.com, all the mix and mastering courses. Click the join button to join the channel and access the exclusive videos. Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. Stay safe. See you next time. So gone, my tight, don't you know?